Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a lovely skeeter dress. This skeeter shirt dress. It has two parts. One part, upper part is called bodice and I am taking 16 inches measurement and lower part is called skirt and this skirt part measurement is up to you how long your skirt uh, should be i am taking 26 inches because i want this dress below my knees and i'm going to do princess cut on the bodice so all we need fabric of our choice i'm using this maroon a uh, bit thicker and a nice jersey and bit stretchy fabric measuring tape scissors piece of chalk french curve ruler for uh, giving a curve for the princess cut in the uh, front part of the body scissor and uh, pins and paper so if all these things ready so let's get started uh, let's start by taking measurement first of all we need to take our waist measurement this waist area is the lowest part of your body take a waist measurement and I um, take uh, took my measurement about 16 inches 16 inches from front and 16 inches from the back so front part is overlapping because these are uh, I'm going to add buttons so it is better to keep one inches on both side extra I mean is a 16 inches my measurement so I will keep 18 inches because one inches on each side of this part overlapping each other and uh, buttons um, the place for the button so instead of 16 inches front part I will be keeping 18 inches and the back part will be 16 inches so uh, uh, first of all I will uh, tell you how I cut this skirt part it is easy so always start from the easy part make a square piece of your fabric whatever fabric you are using I cut a square square mean all sides equal make a triangle like this this is a square and next step we make a triangle and then fold it again so the, your piece of fabric will look like this and now from one corner of the fabric these are the free ends and then uh, um, according to my waist measurement for example I have a 16 so make sure I am taking this part at least 8 inches so when it will open 16 from the front and 16 from the back I will cut uh, uh, put a mark here and then from the base I will simply give a curve like this and it is better to measure from um, upper mark to uh, bottom take a measurement how long your skirt could be for example in my case 26 inches so from here to here 26 and from this uh, margin to another margin I will be taking 26 inches and then simply curve it curve along and then I'm going to cut this part and this is how you will cut your fabric and in this way you will have two pieces of fabric like this one for the front and one for the back so front part from the front we will simply divide into two because it is a shirt dress and we have to overlap these front parts like this and this part will be overlapping for the buttons and I have cut the piece of fabric and this is how it looks like and this is my fabric this is the upper part and this is bottom curve edge now I'm going to uh, cut bodice for the bodice I took two pieces for the back 16 inches length 
total length and width i took 15 inches because 15 inches is my shoulder length so 15 by 16 inches this longer piece i took for the back and for making princess cut what i'm going to do i took my french curve ruler and from the top of this fabric just after four inches mark it here and use our french curve ruler and slightly curve from this side so i will be going like this this is back of our dress so it is coming like this and I'm going to cut this is back and we will keep this fabric as a template for cutting the rest part of our backside so I will move this aside for a minute and I'm going to cut front part for the front because front I have, um, we are making shirt dress so I took 18 total width I took 18 inches because 1 1 inches will be overlapping one another so 18 by 16 same length but for overlapping I took 2 inches extra and then from top of our fabric from after 7 inches I mark it here and I will be giving a bit deeper curve here because this is a front part so I use my French curve ruler and as much you want you can give a depth and shape to your uh, 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 front part of your bodies so now I have cut two parts for the front and two for the backs so how it will look like I will show you first we will attach them and then I will cut arm holes so these are our front two parts and these front two part as I mentioned they will be overlapping like this and this is a princess cut area this is our curve and this is another curve and I'm going to uh, stitch these pieces together and then we will cut our armhole from here so I'm going to face going to face these front sides together and I will start stitching all along the curve and then I will open and same in this way and another side on the back I did the same and back is smaller than the front so these are two pieces along the side like this and I will start stitching these two pieces together front faces together like this front side and then I will open them and we will cut sleeves and neckline everything after I will show for the front part must remember then we have overlapping parts so uh, may, mark uh, just like this I marked one inches so I remember that one inches is overlapping so I took my measurement from this and seven inches shoulder I left from the back so I am measuring from this area and to make sure our bust measurement is right and I'm going to use my French curve ruler and give a curve for armhole like this and now I'm going to cut armhole for the front front parts and make sure we have a correct bust in front part as well please and continue watching part 2 of this video to see completed project so see you all in part 2 of this video.